Happy Bus. Crime lies hidden in the puzzle, and the truth emerges through reasoning. Detective stories of Inspector Chimp. Inspector Chimp takes the stage. The case of the monster, part one. Raleigh, the little chick, oh. sat eating a huge breakfast of oat porridge, leafy green vegetables, sesame seeds, and corn juice. As he ate, he flipped through the newspaper, where he saw a notice. He couldn't believe his luck. Oh my chicken! <laughs> Alien relics were to be displayed in Mr. Squirrel's shop for the next two weeks. Raleigh immediately got up and put on his detective hat and cape. As he went to the door, he picked up his trusty diamond magnifying glass. <laughs> oh my chicken! <laughs> At last! Alien items here in Sylvan City! <laughs> Raleigh had been reading stories about the detectives and the alien police force for as long as he could remember. As a result, he was obsessed with anything related to aliens. He even tried to use an alien voice when he talked. When he reached Mr. Squirrel's shop, he found that things were not quite as he had expected. The entire place was a mess. Mama Mia! Mr. Squirrel, what happened? Why is your shop such a mess? <clears throat> and where are the alien relics I read about in the paper? Rolly! Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Huh? Me? Oh, yes, I know what a great detective you've become after reading all those books. You've got to help me now. It's no, oh, it's just awful. Why? <clears throat> yes, certainly. Just tell me what happened. Calmly now, okay? But it's the alien relics. They're gone. <gasps> gone? What do you mean? Uh, I mean they were stolen. Mr. Squirrel pointed to the display window. Raleigh looked, and sure enough, it was empty. The huge window had been shattered, and a steady breeze blew in from outdoors. I see. That's fine, then. Let me investigate. As Raleigh took his diamond magnifying glass and began to search the area, a strange figure in a cap and windbreaker stepped into the shop. Hey, you! You can't be in here now! While he continued examining the site with his diamond magnifying glass as Mr. Squirrel tried to shoo the newcomer away. Hey, kid. You're wasting your time. There's nothing to see in here. Huh? Mm -hmm. Pardon me, sir, but perhaps it would be best if you left this to the experts. I've been trained in the detective arts of the alien police force. <laughs> What's with the fake voice, kid? It's not fake. It's alien. As I said, I've been studying the detective. Yeah, I heard. The alien police force. You know that's just in books, right? Um, well, never mind that. What's important is there's a mystery to be solved. Right. Well, fortunately, I can help with that, too. You won't find any clues inside here. But look out there. Raleigh looked out the window, where the figure was pointing, and he saw broken glass all over the sidewalk outside. See all the broken glass out there? And you notice how there's none inside. Raleigh nodded, but he was puzzled by what he saw. You know what that means? No, I don't get it. It means the glass was broken from the inside. There was no thief coming in from outside. The relics were stolen by someone inside the shop, then the glass was broken to make it look like a break-in. You mean... You mean... Yup, that's what I mean. They both turned to look at Mr. Squirrel. The figure in the windbreaker and cap pointed at his badge, then at Mr. Squirrel. I say in the name of justice that you are the so-called thief. Ew. What? Ah. Uh, I, uh, I... I don't know what to say. Sure you do. Say you're sorry. Then say you'll return the relics to their owner, and also that you'll never cheat and lie again. Yeah, right. 
Yes, I'm very sorry. I'll return the relics and I won't cheat or lie again. Good. We better get out of here and let Mr. Squirrel clean this place up. Raleigh followed the figure out of the shop. He was a dashing monkey with a long tail, and the badges on his cap and chest sparkled. Please? Please? Sir? Uh, may I ask your name? I'm Inspector Charles Chimp with the Sylvan Police Department. <gasps> Inspector Police? <gasps> then could I learn from you? Uh, instead of studying those alien police force stories, I, uh... I want to solve mysteries like you do! Whoa, hold on. That's nice and all, kid, but you're much too young. For now, you can go on reading those stories. But remember, they're just stories. Real life is very different. Keep that in mind. And when you're older, look me up, and we'll see about training you then. Raleigh and Inspector Chimp parted ways. Raleigh went to a cafe and ordered a stack of pancakes, a plate of blueberries, a plate of peanuts, and a glass of corn juice, then sat in a corner, feeling depressed over having failed to become a great detective, like those in his beloved stories of the alien police force. What you doing here, kid? Why do you look so sad? Raleigh looked up and saw Giraffe pulling a chair over to sit with him. Oh, I'm not doing anything. Just thinking. About those alien police force detective stories, I bet. <laughs> um, say, what's that you got there? This? Oh, it's my diamond magnifying glass. I got it from the alien police force little detectives club. Looks pretty nice. Uh, <clears throat> um, hey, speaking of aliens, you know much about the Martian water monster? Just a little. <gasps> Isn't it some mysterious creature from Mars who's supposedly been seen in lakes and oceans all around Earth? Yeah, right. <laughs> That's the one. Did you know we've got one in our own pond here in Sylvan City, too? <gasps> Mamma mia! A Sylvan pond monster? <laughs> yeah, that's right. What does it look like? Well, that's the thing with these mysterious alien creatures. No one really knows, because they're so elusive. And ours um, seems to be new around here. It really needs more investigating. Raleigh ran a finger over his diamond magnifying glass, still feeling down. Suddenly, an idea hit him. Oh, my chicken! Maybe I could investigate it! <laughs> a great idea. Let's go now. Raleigh and Giraffe made their way to Sylvan Pond. As they drew closer, it got foggier and a cold chill came into the air. As he neared the water's edge, Raleigh said, uh, Hey, Mr. Giraffe, it's getting kind of hard to see, isn't it? Oh, Mr. Giraffe? 